Sneaker Addicts, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells checking in with you all. Wanted to have a discussion on these upcoming Air Jordan Concord 11s with the 45 in the back. I did do a detailed review. If you haven't checked it out, I will add that review at the end of this video so you don't even have to leave because some of you guys may have clicked on it expecting to see a review. So I will connect that to the end of this video. But this video, the main focus is... I want to have a discussion with you all and talk about this release. Are we picking these up or not? I'm curious to hear your opinions on it because I'm hearing a lot of people that I know begin to say, you know what, my other pair of Concords, I was looking at them and they don't look that bad. I think I may pass on these. I heard they're releasing almost 2 million of them. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard this from a lot of people. That's a whole lot of pairs, which is fine. That doesn't stop me from wanting them, but my whole thing is do i need to buy these right now when christmas is around the corner and i got tons of presents to buy and i already have a pair of the concords from the last time they released i actually own two pairs of them do i need to get these asap yes it has the og cut and it also has that 45 in the back but I have a funny feeling these are not going to sell out. I feel like this is a pair of shoes that will be around for a little bit. That may be around for about a week or two. Maybe even longer. Some are going to say, Dells, you have lost your damn mind. You have gone crazy. If you feel that way, please let me know that in the comment box below. Maybe I need to get back down to Earth. Maybe my brain is somewhere else on another planet or something. But I have a funny feeling people are going to agree with me that these are going to sit. These shoes will sit for at least one to five days at select retailers they may sell out online just like that and then they'll do sporadic restocks but i personally think these will sit now if you want these don't go by my prediction and say oh well if delzy said that i'm gonna run with what delzy says and i'm not gonna go and pick them up right away if you want these if you've dreamed of having these you better go for it when they first release because you don't want to risk striking out and then leaving with nothing see me i could roll the dice and see how it goes down i have pairs of concords yes they don't have the og cut they don't have the 45 in the back but i'm content with them honestly i was way more excited about the space jams that released with the og cut to me i don't know why i just got more excitement toward that and the concords i am excited but i'm not as excited that's just me let me know your thoughts as i said i just want to have a quick conversation with you all check in with you all all in all i really think they're nice in the review i will tell you that and i do recommend them but once again i definitely think that these are not going to sell out right away if they made the amount of pairs that are rumored they usually make about a million pairs of these every single holiday when they release these holiday releases but um I wouldn't be surprised if this is true that it's way over a million pairs. Two million pairs seems a little exaggerated. I really don't believe it's two million pairs, but hey, you never know. By the way, I do have my new Sneaker Attic t-shirt that just released, the Dell Show tee. If you love the channel, check out that new design and all the other ones. That will be linked in the description box below. Really appreciate your support. Hit the thumbs up button right now. Show that love. And now let's get into the review. Bong bong. <laughs> Sneaker Addicts, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells. We got the 2018 Air Jordan 11 Concords in hand. And let's get up close. You got your black pan leather wrapping around that mesh in white. And it's that high cut pan leather. And then, of course, you have your hit of that white leather with your Jumpman stitched in right there. And then there's a look at the 45 on the back. Now, I wish that was stitched in. It's like that iron-on kind of whack. And there's a look at the rest of the back. And there's a look at the medial side of the shoe as far as the fit. I personally like to go true to size on Jordan 11s. I really don't recommend going up half a size unless you really have a wide, wide foot. You got the Fred Flintstone, that brick of a foot, that cinder block of a foot. Then go up half a size. But if not, stay true to size. You don't want these things creasing. Air Jordan 11s are horrible when they crease. Just complete trash. When you have that pan leather creasing by the toe, it is just a horror show. It's horrible to look at. So make sure these fit to your feet so you don't have extra space by the toe. 
looking at the carbon fiber shank real quick close up love that damn carbon fiber shank and then we'll look at the entire outsole you have your hits of concord with your herringbone traction on the heel and the forefoot that herringbone traction which you can see through that icy sole your jump man of course in the middle and then looking at the toe check it out bird's eye view style <laughs> Got your rope laces. Now the rope laces is in honor of the basketball net for those that are wondering. And then you have your tag of course. And the whole tongue is that white mesh. And then there's a look behind the tongue. Quality basketball product inspired by the greatest player ever. And then we'll look at the insole right there with your Nike Air branding. And we'll even lift up the insole. So, you know, for people that want to get a legit check, that's what the inside looks like on a legit pair of air jordan 2018 concords and it comes with your plastic also check it out and there you go with a close-up hd look at these shoes my opinion i love them and i'm definitely looking to pick up a pair one of my favorite jordans of all times the concord 11s let me know if you're going to be picking them up are you going to be passing do you like the og cut with the pan leather or you like how it was when they had it like a lower cut me personally i like the og cut better and the 45 in the back i'm a fan of let me know if you're a fan of the 45 in the back or now nah, you'd rather the 23 Leave all that in the comment box below. I love the interaction. Once again, these will be releasing on December 8th for $220. And I will post information on my blog, thesneakerratic.com. In the morning of the release, I will have a listing of everywhere you can find the sneaker. And I will post that in the description box below for your convenience. As far as my opinion on are these going to be difficult to get, I don't think so at all. I think that this is going to be a walk in the park. If you want them, you'll just have to you know, wake up in the morning and order them online. You should not have a problem ordering them online. But to be safe, I recommend doing all them raffles all these stores do them through the apps now like Foot Locker I think even uh, Foot Action does it and um, Finish Line all them all them stores are gonna have these sneakers so if you really want them badly download all those apps and I'm pretty sure that it's going down like if not tomorrow very very soon to enter these raffles and once again i'm pretty sure they made tons of pairs i wouldn't be surprised if it's over a million they usually make over a million pairs of these jordan 11 holiday edition shoes so once again i really don't think anyone should have a problem buying these at all and that's a great thing because me personally i'm not with all that extra bs i don't care about the resale value I'm all about the sneakers. I love wearing sneakers. I'm a sneaker collector slash sneaker wearer. <laughs> I just like wearing some dope kicks. I don't care about value of sneakers. If I have a pair of sneakers that's worth a lot of money, cool. But I never buy sneakers just because they're worth money. That's me. Some of you guys may be all about that too, which is cool, you know? Whatever you like is what you like, and I respect it. But with me, I'm just all about getting what I want to wear, what I dig. Some will call me that old school sneakerhead, whatever you want to call it. Call it. Label it what you want. It's crazy because last time these released, they didn't make enough pairs. And people got hurt. Like, I'm pretty sure someone even got killed over these last time they actually retroed. I think it was around 2010, give or take, somewhere around there. I mean, it was really a big deal. It was all over the news. I had ABC News actually reach out to me and interview me because they had to cover this story because it was so crazy. Everywhere, all over the United States, people were just going nuts over these Concord 11s that released, I'm pretty sure, 2010, 2011. So like, I literally had the news email me, like, we really would love to speak to you. We need to speak to people that know about this stuff because this is just crazy. You know, people are riding over sneakers and we don't get it. We need to talk to people. So I did the interview and I'll actually throw it at the end of this video as a little bit of a bonus. But um, I'm glad that Jordan Brand stopped all the nonsense when it comes to like the real popular releases and they're making mass amounts right now where there's none of this nonsense, you know. It's a beautiful thing that 
this isn't going on anymore in 2018. Yeah, people are still fighting over the limited sneakers. I recently seen some video, I think it was over at um, Con. It was like a damn UFC fight. I think I, I think I seen Homeboy with the breads on throwing karate kicks and shit like that. Like it was just bonkers. But as far as like the real popular shoes that a lot of us want, you know, the legendary classics like the Concords, the Black Cement Threes that released, like they're making enough pairs where there's not this kind of pandemonium. And I and I love that and I appreciate that that Jordan Brand's doing that now. I do have a podcast every single week over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. If you love podcasts, you'll love my podcast. Definitely. So check that out. Patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. And that's it for today's vid. I hope you guys had fun watching this. I reviewed the Yeezy Sesames. I got the upcoming Kyrie Fives. I just have to edit. So let me know also in the comments if you need that Kyrie 5 review. And I will try to knock that out as soon as possible. Everyone have a great Thanksgiving. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I actually may hit you guys off with a video on Thanksgiving. So we'll see. Much love. Much love. Much love. Much love. Much love. The lines have been long at shoe stores today as sneaker fans try to snatch up the new retro Air Jordans. Crowds are unruly in Indianapolis, Seattle, and outside San Francisco, where ABC's Jenna Lane says a gun went off at one point. Richmond police say they arrested one man, 24 years old, for what might have been an accidental discharge of his gun in the parking lot of the Hilltop Mall in Richmond. This is as Richmond police were providing extra security because 1,500 to 2,000 people were waiting in line to buy the new Jordan shoes. 2,000 people waiting in line to buy tennis shoes? Maybe sees Alex Stone talk to one man who owns over 400 pairs of sneakers. It's a phenomenon Nike is able to take to the bank. The new shoes cost 180 bucks a pop. DJ Dells runs the sneakeraddict.com. He believes pop culture is driving this craze. He says for older folks, it brings them back to when they were kids. When you have young kids that just want to look good and, and, and wear the, the hottest sneaker that's out. Some are buying to resell them to make money on eBay right now. The Air Jordan 11s are selling for over 400 bucks. Alex Stone, ABC News.